Uh, hi, Dr. Saxena here, and uh, been talking on some things uh, which necessarily is not some activism. I'm not talking as a social activist here, but I'm really concerned what is happening with our climate change, uh, how these things are moving from one to other. Uh, we are as sitting as um, a doctors trying to treat people in all conditions. And uh, it's not just enough to just write down some uh, few prescription medications and ask them, okay, this is one thing which uh, I, I need to work on you. Uh, but I would like people to understand that yes, we, are, we need to definitely nail down what uh, are the things which are really causing some kind of uh, bad effects. So uh, we we uh, here we are talking about. Uh, uh, I have been always uh, vocal about uh, telling people why to shut down their um, Wi-Fi uh, when there is a uh, fiber optic network which can help them. Uh, there is no need for wireless communication, and uh, that is what I just want to talk about this. Uh, so if he doesn't have any knowledge about that, I would definitely. Uh, uh, make you understand I'm sure if you can do some uh, your yourself you can look into that uh, people with, uh, with we don't have much knowledge about negative health effects caused by this non ionizing radiation and uh, you need to uh, you need to uh, do your homework on this particular stuff so uh, we uh, I believe uh, uh, there is a safer and alternative uh, faster alternative to your wireless uh, communication which is Wi-Fi and what is it for each for 3, 4 and 5G. Um, I feel there is a good option which is called as fiber optic networks because I keep using um, things I've been talking to every uh, this one trying to tell them okay this is good it's good to use your LAN cable and um, not rely much on the Wi-Fi. Um, um, so this is a federal communication system which is called FCC uh, commission has happened which oversees uh, rollout of this 4G and other stuff has ignored the biological and environmental effects of electromagnetic radiation. Uh, the agency has gone far um, uh, to forbid municipalities uh, uh, from preventing uh, or restricting the placement of cell towers. Uh, because of the health concern so uh, this is one thing uh, this is a uh, the I can always quote you there are some um, good uh, scientific uh, uh, you get something at environmental health trust which is ehtrust.org you can always look into this particular thing these are the independent research uh, bodies researchers and scientists who are trying to put across all this information in one uh, website uh, I would I would definitely like you to understand all these things and uh, as uh, people activists can uh, I know and the ordinary people can affect change uh, especially when they put together and focus their efforts uh, I, I s s appeal to one and all to try to use this simple process not to use Wi-Fi uh, wireless say no to wireless say yes to wide communication because we are living in this era of modern technology and we need to keep uh, uh, kind of uh, we have to keep in pace with what is happening over things so there uh, I can always talk about uh, uh, there are some I can share with you all the stuffs which I have got where you where wa how this uh, uh, wireless communication causing health effects on you uh, it's a big detail kind of thing but I certainly at, at this point of time I'd like to tell you yes because most of them because of these lockdowns and all that people were using all uh, wireless communication and all we had seen rise in numbers of uh, uh, problems which was um, we we felt it is something like psychosomatic issues but it is definitely something related to this particularly Wi-Fi radiation and I want you to understand this particular stuff and uh, that, and make a uh, proper uh, uh, choice and uh, the choice being it's a, it should be a kind of thing say no to Wi-Fi and yes to that fiber optic broadband. Thank you.